guys. I am starting my day with a nice Coda walk. see that in the garages and stuff how they're semi-painted already um, but I guess they're not going to paint today because they won't spray paint as much as the paint if it's too windy. Um, but the places are starting to look really nice. All nice and shiny new paint. It's very cool. So guys, yesterday was trash day and I forgot to bring in the trash can so this morning I'm like okay I must remember to get the trash can because technically I live in an HOA society so if I don't bring my trash can in by 5 p.m. on trash day, I can technically be fined and citationed and all that crap. Um, luckily, they don't, they're not that psycho, but I could, in theory. So I go to get the trash can this morning, and it's not outside. And I'm like, okay, where be the trash can? So I figured, okay, well, maybe someone brought it in already. Go look. Nope. Someone has stolen our trash can. Again. Yeah, this is like the sixth trash can that's been stolen. <clears throat> and then, of course, one of them got torched and melted to the ground. So, yeah, we have one of those neighborhoods where your trash cans get stolen. Um, and I don't know if you guys knew this, but trash cans are apparently the new shopping cart. Because they got the wheels on them now, and they just roll them around. And, you know, shopping carts got those wheel locks now that if you take them too far, they don't roll anymore. So, apparently, people steal trash cans now. I don't know why you'd want my trash can because the amount of cat litter that I shove in that thing, it just permanently smells like kitty litter now, like used kitty litter. So it's not a very useful transportation device, if you ask me, unless you want to bother to really clean it out. But really, I mean, if you're homeless, do you have the facilities to really, really clean that trash can? Anyway, so I got to call the city today and get another new trash can and hope they don't yell at me and be like, sir, you've had a million new trash cans. I'm like, well, it's not my fault they get stolen. Make them out of lead or something so people can't move them. Anyway, funny story. Thought I'd just let you guys know. Alrighty, so we just watched Superman Unbound. You've been waiting for this movie for a long time, huh? Mm -hmm. Been waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, and we just watched it, so what'd you think? Yeah, it was really good. I thought it, I thought it was really good, too. It's probably the best depiction of Brainiac I've ever seen. Like, they made him badass in this movie. Yeah, he was creepy. Mm -hmm. Not just, like, evil, but, like, creepy. Like, yeah. normally, you just, they just make him, you know, Brainiac. Right. This one, he was creepy. Yeah. Which was pretty cool. Wait, um, spoilers. Spoilers! Oh, nice. Ooh, Brainiac's gonna put himself back together. Well, of course. I mean, he can't die, right? Oh, of course he puts his brain back in his skeleton. What the hell? Superman wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> that was cool. I don't think they've been that before. It's like a very Marvel Comics thing that they just did. Yeah, like start their credits and then be like, ooh, something new. Something else is going to happen. So that's pretty cool. I mean, maybe there'll be like a sequel or something. Mm. DC releases good um, animated films. Yeah, they do. They don't seem to do the whole real life films <laughs> as good as Marvel. <laughs> but they do release really good animated films. Yeah. Like, the action-wise, I still think Apocalypse is better. Action-wise, Apocalypse, yeah, is better. And I think... Um, this is one of my most favoriteest movies is the Shazam one. That was awesome. That, that's, that was probably one of my, my favoriteest. The only thing I don't like about this movie is Superman's costume is always so dark. I don't know why the blue is so dark. It's almost like gray. What did you think, Coda? Did you like the movie? Was it good? Did it, did it meet your expectations? No? You have no opinion? <laughs> why, why, why aren't you taking me for a walk? Is that what you're saying? I don't know, you look pretty comfy there. Did you watch it again? I'd watch it again. Did 
It was a good movie. It was good times. Good times. It followed the, the comic book written by Jeff Johns pretty well. For the most part. Okay, guys. So we um, watched Superman Unbound on Voodoo. So since Voodoo is awesome, it's kind of like having the actual Blu-ray and they give you like little featurettes. And so we just finished watching the Justice League Flashpoint Paradox featurette. So I'll give my opinion first because I have not read Flashpoint and I don't really know what's happening. Um, but that looks freaking awesome. I cannot wait to see it. And it actually makes me want to read the comic book now before the movie comes you out. You should. It's really good. Cool. So what did you think? Are you excited to see now that you've seen that? sneak peek yeah i was excited about it when it was teased that it was going to come out a couple of years ago kevin conroy who's playing batman again um who's voicing batman i should say um really just let it sit that he was voicing a flashpoint movie ah. so this is this is also the book that um that daniel had a lot of questions about when we were in oregon oh yeah that's right because he was reading flashpoint when we were at the gay vacation yeah. daniel um jay and brian's son was reading flashpoint yeah so I, I, hopefully, hopefully Dan and I will get this for him so he can watch it. There's nothing cooler than seeing something that you've read put into, you know, uh, video format. Yeah, it's cool. I'm excited. I, I want to see, I mean, if everyone was saying the New 52 relaunch for DC Comics was like temporary, mm -hmm. you know, we're now going, it's, we're going into the third year in, in August and they're doing a movie and it doesn't look like it's going to be temporary. So I'm wondering if we're going to start seeing new 52 car cartoons. Yeah. Par um, rumors where there was going to be Justice League. Ooh, that'd be cool. Which would make sense, being that they're trying to make a Justice League movie. Mm -hmm. So, I'm excited. Sweet. Anyway, guys, so check out this movie. It comes um, out in June. Well, Flashpoint comes out in June, but definitely check out Superman Unbound, too. It's not on DVD to like the May 4th or something, or 8th or something. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you get stuff early on Voodoo, which is why Voodoo. All right, so that is the end for tonight, guys. I'm going to edit this video. Until next time, YouTube, love and bubbles.